What could be causing my Whirlpool refrigerator to not cool properly? Hello and welcome to today's video where we will delve into why your Whirlpool refrigerator might not be cooling properly. If you have noticed that your fridge isn't as cold as it should be, there could be a variety of reasons, and we're here to help you identify and potentially fix the problem. Is your refrigerator getting power? First and foremost, it's important to check if your refrigerator is getting sufficient power. Is the light turning on when you open the door? Is the display panel functioning correctly? If not, it might be an issue with the power supply. Is your refrigerator overloaded? Another common issue can be overloading your fridge. If you've just done a big grocery shop and stuffed everything into your fridge, this could be preventing the cool air from circulating properly. Make sure there's enough space for air to flow freely. Is the temperature setting correct? Check your temperature setting. It might sound simple, but it's a commonly overlooked issue. Your fridge should be set between 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If the setting is too high, your refrigerator won't be as cool as it should be. Are the condenser coils clean? The condenser coils on the back of your refrigerator play a crucial role in cooling. If they're covered in dust, they won't be able to dissipate heat effectively, causing your refrigerator to run warmer than usual. Regularly cleaning the coils can solve this issue. Is the evaporator fan motor working? The evaporator fan motor draws air over the evaporator coils and circulates it throughout the refrigerator and freezer. If it's not working, you will notice warming in both compartments. You may need to replace the fan if it's not functioning properly. Are the door seals intact? Finally, check the door seals. If they're damaged or not sealing properly, warm air can enter your refrigerator, impacting its cooling capability. If you notice any cracks or damages, it's time to replace the seals. By checking these areas, you should be able to identify what's causing your Whirlpool refrigerator to not cool properly. Always remember, if you're not comfortable performing these checks yourself, it's best to call in a professional. Hopefully, this video has helped you to understand and troubleshoot your cooling issues. Thanks for watching.